Hi, welcome to Carnegie Library of Pittsburgh's Kids Club at Home. My name is Kate and I'm happy that you're here. For today's activity, we will be drawing with scissors. For this activity, you will need scrap paper, you will need glue or tape, and you'll need scissors. It doesn't really matter what you make, the process of cutting and placing your cutouts is the main idea of this activity. Be open to what you can create with these limited materials. Please make sure though that you have adult permission before you start cutting anything out or using materials at home. When children are using glue or scissors to manipulate and cut up small pieces, they are using fine motor skills. Fine motor skills is using the smallest muscles in your hands. Children in grade school are still developing these skills and they need opportunities to practice. Fine motor skills come into play when you're writing, of course, but anytime you're doing an activity with small muscles such as tying your shoes or getting dressed, you are practicing fine motor skills. Before we begin, let's try our icebreaker. My question to you is, what made you laugh today? For me, it was seeing my two cats outside chasing a squirrel. My cats are always up to mischief. By the way, if you have any ideas on activities or things that you'd like to learn about, please let us know in the comments. As I said, today's activity explores a technique we call drawing with scissors. This technique was inspired by the artist Henri Matisse. About a hundred years ago, he changed the world of art by cutting paper to create a new type of art called cutouts. So let's take a look in this book. So here we have the parakeet and the mermaid. So as you can see, he used a lot of different colors and basically cut out shapes. They look very organic to me or natural. They look like leaves to me. What do they look like to you? So here you can see some more of the shapes that he used. I see some wavy shapes here, some lines. This to me looks kind of like a tulip. All different colors. We've got some star shapes. Some more swirly shapes. This one looks like a leaf to me. What do you see when you look at the shapes? Start thinking about the shapes that you might want to cut out and maybe what colors you might want to use. We are going to imitate this style in our own way and it's preferable to use different colors of paper and different patterns. So if you don't have any colored paper at home, you can always grab a crayon and color paper. I did orange. I did red. You could also cut up some old magazines or cut up junk mail. Just please get permission before you cut anything up. I'm going to try to layer my colors in my patterns. Think about how you're going to use color in your patterns and layer them or put them next to each other. Remember, Matisse's style was abstract, so abstract art encourages you to incorporate the color and the shapes and texture in different ways. Um, it, it's not going to look necessarily very realistic. You can play around with the, cut, with the cutouts and see how you'd like to layer the shapes to make your composition. His cutouts tended to be very curvy. They weren't necessarily straight. They're curvy, they're not rigid. You don't really need to know what you want your art to be before you start. You can figure it out as you go along, as your inspiration strikes. Um, I'm going to use inspiration or get inspiration from the changing leaves outside and how the colors are changing to make mine. 
What do you think is going to inspire you to make yours? So how are you feeling about what you made? Here is mine. So as you can see, I did layer the cutouts quite a bit. And I'm thinking actually next time I might use a bigger piece of paper and spread them out a little bit more. But I have to say I'm pretty happy with how the paper from the magazines that I cut out looks. I feel like it has some really good texture to it. So what are you thinking about yours? How is it different from what you thought you might make at the beginning and how your composition ended up looking? Is this something that you would want to try again? If you are interested in trying out some more different art styles, there's a great book on Hoopla. It's called Art Styles for Kids. Hoopla is a platform for ebooks, for audiobooks, music, and movies, and it can be used as an app on your favorite device or through its website, and it's free with your library card. You can also order a copy of Henri's Scissors, and this is written by Jeanette Winter, written and illustrated by Jeanette Winter, and you can order this and pick it up at your favorite local library. If you still want to learn more about Matisse and drawing with scissors, you can check out the Museum of Modern Art's Creativity Lab at Home YouTube channel, which is where I found this activity and was inspired to make it my own. And you can find lots of similar activities online. Thank you so much for joining me for Kids Club at Home. Tag at Carnegie Library to share what you made and keep an eye out for grab and go materials at your local CLP location. I'll see you soon. Thanks.